On the second day of drunks, Miss the happy hour gave to me two penis bites and another Tesla story. Now entering Nerdist.com. Welcome to the second day of Drunk Smiths and the half hour, happy hours, holiday extravaganza. I'm Alex Albrecht. <laughs> I'm Allison Hayslip. And for about the next 30 minutes, we're going to drink our second glass of booze and talk a second round of news, I guess. Well, I'm going to drink my second glass of coffee because, yes. as you may have heard from the first one, uh... I am now highly allergic to alcohol. <laughs> Yay! Science! No. Uh, sitting in with us is uh, our co-pilot, no, not co-pilot, uh, financial engineer. Go financial finish. engineer. <laughs> He's the financial entity Why of this not? entire situation. Tom, Super Volcano Krajewski. Hey, How you doing, hey, Tom? Man. What's up? Yo. Uh, so, each day we have special guests, none more special than my co-host for BlizzCon, Michelle Morrow. How you doing, Michelle? I'm good. Hey, guys. Second drunk Smith yeah, in a row. Girl. Second, second drunk Second man. annual yeah, drunk Yeah, you're an alumni. Yeah. You know what's happening. I think I was your first guest. You were. You yeah. were my first guest. That's right. I love it. I, I love this. Trivia. I love it's it. It's a drunk Smith miracle. It's a, it's a goddamn drunk <laughs> Smith miracle. Um, did you just poke a hole in your coffee? I did what just did poke you? a hole in my coffee. Oh, Not so many people would... realize that the uh, reason why coffee is sometimes the lid makes it like the sucking noise and like <laughs> can't get any coffee out of it is because the blowhole that I call it oh. on the back of the cup lid isn't big enough. The science hole and is so you big gotta, enough? Yeah, you got to... <laughs> So you gotta you gotta wreck up your science hole. Yeah. I use a pen, <laughs> and now I can drink so much. Did you see the other coffee, coffee cups though? That was at McDonald's one uh, that, that looked like mm. the, the two mittens, but someone drew hands on it. it looked like someone spreading their butt. It cheeks. was like yeah, the goatee thing. Yeah. That was amazing. My favorite was somebody then poked a hole in the coffee cup right in the oh, anus, oh, and all the like brown coffee, coffee comes oh, spraying no. out of it. I was like, oh, my God. No. <laughs> there are certain things like that where I'm like. Why don't you just get a room of 12-year-olds? <laughs> Every yeah. company should have a room of 12-year-olds. Yeah, right. And you, you just go, here's the product. And they go, that guy's head looks like a penis. And you're like, you know what? That guy's head does look like a penis. It's perfect because then companies would know <laughs> yeah, exactly. what they're facing on the They'd internet. Be like, oh, exactly. shit. Right. Okay, listen. Yeah, we- like put them in a troll hole and then bring all your products in. And you're like, a troll hey, hole. Hey, trolls, here are our products. What would you say on the internet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That looks like a man's anus. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um- I can make it poop. <laughs> and you're like, okay. Mick Cafe, one mitten. Yeah. One mitten. <laughs> Uh, we have to get through some thank yous yes, yes. really quickly. Oh, yeah. So many thank yous. Yes, during so during in between episodes, we got two deliveries. Uh, Seth S sent us burritos, breakfast burritos, breakfast burritos, one with no eggs, one with no eggs, just for oh, me. Yeah, that's sweet. sweet. I no know. like of the eggs. I know. That Alice was amazing. No like of the eggs. And then <laughs> Walter, correct? Yeah. Walter, I think. Walter sent us an amazing order from Sweet Lady Jane. He sent us a slice of cheesecake. Which, by the way, I love cheesecake. Yeah. And that looks uh, delicious. It does. Right and then he mm-hmm. sent us a chocolate cake that says Merry Drunksmiths on it. Yeah. Oh, Merry yep. Drunksmiths cake. Merry Drunksmiths cake. And then I have to get into one of the other gifts that was shipped to us. Yes, a pre, pre-delivered pre shipped yeah. gift. So I'm opening this right now. Oh, God, it's cookies. Oh. It's what? cookies. The, it what does that say? Cravery? Cravery cookies. Hold on. I'm seeing oh, if there's a note. Make-ish. Oh, there's no note. Wait, there might be. I oh, see yes. It. No, wait. This is the best sellers thing. On the back. The other side has one, too. No, uh, the other, the oh, other here. hole. Oh, here, got it, got it, got yep, it. Yep, the other. Got it. Science hole. Use the science, science hole. hole. <laughs> science hole. Science hole. It's a whole note. To Allison, Alex, and Tom, please enjoy some of my favorite cookies in the whole oh, world. Geez. These are the best. Happy drunks, Miss from Ryan Pio Quinto. Oh, I know how to he pronounce is his name. Super popular at crutches. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. We got an email from him that I, is not going to be one. Of, it's going to be one of these episodes. Okay. That's, That's awesome. Thanks, Look man. at these cookies. Yeah. Actually, Look at those. Huh? Oh my god, it's a red velvet cookie? Individually wrapped. Yeah. Lemon <laughs> bar cookie? Individually Almond wrapped. Almond joyous. Ooh. Ultimate chocolate chip. Um, just Almond ultimate joyous. Birthday them. cake and salted caramel cream. Oh. We really do just need to rename this fat Someone's smith. Someone's going to be breaking those open later. Uh, Hell yeah. It's okay Hell if her name yeah. is Michelle Morrow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so how are you been, Michelle? Yeah. I've been, I've been good. Wait, did we introduce Michelle? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. Sorry. <laughs> I know, I'm so used to just being around you. It's just like, oh, right, right. I literally have been 
like two and a half or a glass and a half of champagne and I'm already She's like yeah, yeah yeah it's only the <laughs> second episode gonna be a good episode, episode guys <laughs> only the second episode I know we're gonna go to Rogue One later tonight and you're gonna be yes oh yeah wasted. Michelle and I are gonna go see Rogue One tonight together oh. mm-hmm. I'm gonna be Tom the and I have already like, seen it yeah wow. more sexy stormtroopers special <laughs> Yeah. More sexy stormtroopers. Why aren't the stormtroopers sexy enough? Is that is that what people are saying? Is that what know. drunk no, people do? No, I have no do. idea. I'm just trying to think of what I would say when I'm drunk in a Star Wars movie. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Why are the stormtroopers so sexy? Yeah. Because they're so mysterious and bad. Yeah, but like, they're good in their hearts. Like men in uniform. <laughs> Like the bad boys. <laughs> yeah. You can't see their face, Allison. I don't uh, want to see their I face. I like their personality. It's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they talk to me through a little robot face. They're they're beautiful on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> but they're anyway. dark and stormy. We, anyway, back to Michelle. Hi. 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 Hey. hey guys. Who's it on your life? Listen, here's What's the thing. Going on? We know a lot about what goes on with you because you do so much stuff with Alex. Yay. <laughs> it's true. I know. So we heard all about BlizzCon. Yeah. Yes, which time. was so much yeah. fun. Yeah. We had a great time at BlizzCon. Yeah. And now I, we're just addicted playing Overwatch mm. all the time. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. I played it. That is the craziest thing about hosting BlizzCon is you get to go there and you're like, oh, you're just letting me play all of the cool <laughs> yeah. shit that hasn't come out yet. Right. And, like, and the really crazy thing is you, you know, like we are projected through the entire arena or the the entire uh, Anaheim Convention Center. So it's like even people just wandering around are seeing our faces all over the place. And I kind of forget that because yeah. we are actually <laughs> the real reason we're doing it is for the virtual ticket and and for the direct TV pay per view. Right. Yeah. So we just sort of assume it's really for the people. But then every once in a while you realize like. Even the people that work at Blizzard really appreciate what we're doing, which is really fun, like yeah. bumping into Jeff Kaplan up in the Overwatch thing. And I'm a huge fan of Jeff Kaplan because he's like Mr. Overwatch. He's the best. And he like taps me Mr. on the shoulder. Mr. Overwatch. He like taps me on the shoulder and he was like, hey man, you're doing a really great job. Like, I think you guys are doing great. I really appreciate you coming out. And I was like, eh, hey man, you're doing a great job. I, I really he's, like what you're doing. I'm so glad that that guy is <laughs> doing well, guy. man. Yeah, because he's like the coolest dev story of all dev stories. Mm. He was in an EverQuest guild playing so working crazy. for his dad not super happy and he's got a longer story you can read on like polygon or kotaku yeah, or something yeah. but he was just working at his dad's company playing everquest and he made some maps in half-life oh, and right. the guys in his guild were like hey can we see those we just want to see them and he's like yeah sure and they ha- all happened to be working at blizzard <laughs> yeah. they were all like <laughs> the founders of blizzard yeah, it was like That's alan adham cool. who just returned <clears throat> yeah yeah um, it's crazy so anyway like i just love that he's like he's like my underdog of devs yeah you know? i'm so yeah, yeah, glad yeah. to see him do well but yeah, yeah. so that's a term devs, devs. devs. I, i'm devs. learning i love video welcome games, to the I video game i don't world. want yeah. you guys blizzard things i'm sorry devs. it's okay blizzard. yeah it's right. I, i'll be i mean you guys know i'll send you I, the dvds it's 20 okay, hours okay and i'll quit i'll quiz you next christmas gift maybe Uh, um, You know, I I play games quite a bit. I've played them basically my entire life. But I still have conversations with Michelle when she says words when I'm like... Oh yeah, I it, yes, yes, I know what you're talking about. Like it takes me a second because she so speaks the lingo. Oh my God. Like she she just is is the lingo. Is that yeah? yeah. It always impresses me lingo. every time. Mm. Okay, I want to talk about. Can we talk about your super exciting project though? Yeah, we can. Ooh, yes. yes. <laughs> this is so so Michelle and I became like really good friends over the last year or so yeah. and th- what Michelle has accomplished in this last year and she could finally talk about because I think it was announced like what uh, two months oh ago almost two months right ago. near BlizzCon right yeah yeah, right yeah, yeah. and I am so thrilled for her and so <laughs> proud Aww. but Michelle is developing a show with Dan Harmon yeah <laughs> like from yeah. community yeah. fame. Yeah. Like, yeah. You may know him as yeah. community. As, as, as and Harmon mi- Quest, yeah. Mr. Rick and, community. Rick and Marty. T- yeah. Rick and Marty. Yeah. Yeah. Rick, Rick and Marty. Channel like 101. And Marty. So, yeah, yeah. Um, can you tell people what it is? Can we yeah, talk about it? Yeah, I, uh, I co-created a esports scripted series with Jesse Cox. <sighs> love He's it. a YouTuber, good friend of mine. We've been friends for about six years, so it's really cool to see this come to life. But we wanted to make a show that's kind of like Bad News Bears, Silicon Valley, but like set in the world of esports. That's and why? watching yeah, a team smart. try to be like hey we can do this like we play games right um but you kind of see how hard it actually is this right. world is insane and i'm sure maybe some of you guys have heard about esports and how crazy it's gotten over the last two years but it's just yeah. blown right. up and it's supposed to be like billion dollar business yeah. in the next like two years it's yeah. just insane a lot of the big sports franchises are getting into it i mean yeah. they're like seeing that this is the new wave of 
sporting and sporting events. So they're like, fuck it, we want on. A, a friend of mine, ha- this is like a friend of a friend of a friend type story, but like it's someone who works in, in the booking office at the Staples Center. Ah. And when League of Legends <clears throat> first called to book it for their competitions, the person was like, well, no, you realize that you need to sell this many tickets for it to be worth it. And they were like, no, we'll be okay. And the, like, like the, the person who was like trying to sell was like, was I like, don't think you're you going to be screwed with the minimums yeah. required. And they're the, like, the, we're all right. Yeah, the person we're was okay. like really trying to like put them off of the Staples wow. Center. And then the Staples Center sold out in 20 minutes. Yeah. Insane. For, yeah. I mean, come World's on. was great too. I went to it um, this yeah. year. And it was, tell it was them a crazy... about the freaking floors and oh, shit. Oh, yeah. The, they project the, the map down oh, onto the floor cool. so imagine like you're at a lakers game and wow. you're looking at the court right yeah imagine like the half line mm-hmm. in the middle there's just a giant map that's like the length of the court and on either side where the baskets were be that is where each team is sitting right yeah. and so so in you're the middle, watching the map of the game with oh, the pieces yeah. moving watching the yeah. map what yeah and i it's know interactive. so like if you take a tower you you that's kill the so dragon cool. it shows on the map what? Yeah, it's so cool. That's that game now. Yeah, wow. and yeah. you can look it's up free. and see the actual game play. So it's mm-hmm. like there's screens all over the place. But when she was like, "Yeah, there was a map projected on the ground," I was like, "That is the really best cool, idea yeah. for an esports." Sweet, because yeah, so so cool. you're seeing the field, like the yeah. the field of play. You know what I mean? And, and it's like, just you know, you go to these things and you you meet <laughs> you meet the fans and you meet the players and you meet yeah. everybody involved with it, and you're like, this world is just ripe for telling. A story, yeah, story. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. So yeah, so I pitched it a, 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 like about a year and a half ago, two years ago, and it finally got going. And Dan Harmon really liked it. Um, our two, uh, our head writers and showrunners, um, Erica and Sarah, they're also from Rick and Morty. So um, cool. Yeah, and we created a game to go in it because we oh, didn't want to base cool. the story yeah. on an existing IP because yeah. we didn't want yeah. like a right. publisher Licensing being like, yeah, you can't tell that yeah. joke, you yeah. know. And we want to tell like the funniest <clears throat> jokes. So. Yeah. We made uh, we made our own game, and there's going to be more info about it. But it's it's, it's it's a MOBA type awesome. game, and you'll know more soon. Wait, so can we talk about when it airs or where it's going to air? Um, it's, I, I it'll that. be that's a six episode order okay. straight to series that's right. on a YouTube Red. Oh, cool! And um, oh, nice. we're airing it on the Game Grumps channel. If you guys are familiar with Game Grumps, they're super funny. So we got our our top choice. Um, and there'll be two of our lead actors. I'm one of the lead actors. So cool! Um, and then we're casting the rest of it. I'm so available. much fun. <laughs> Tom, Tom's available. You get you super ready, volcano. Tom? I was Rolls commercial. Oh, you, <laughs> there you go. I know. Every time it's a new thing. What? Didn't you play Young Abraham that? Lincoln or no, something? No, Young John F. Kennedy. <laughs> young John F. Kennedy. It was pretty close. And then you were an, ex- an extra in Hocus Pocus. And mm. the next Karate Kid. You were in the next Karate Kid? And Blown Away. What? <laughs> not, not the Nicole Eggert Naked Blown Away movie, which is better than the one I was in, but the Jeff... <laughs> I was going to say, are you away. like, There's were you like an away, Irish oh car bomber? <laughs> like a small Irish car bomber? <laughs> I feel like a small, <laughs> small <laughs> Irish car bomber. <laughs> hey, my name is Tom. I'm yeah. here to set up a little car bomb. bomb your car. Yeah. Yeah. I, f- I feel out. like we're going to be you doing. stupid Protestant. We're going <laughs> <we're> to be doing <laughs> this podcast for at least another year before we find out that Tom. All, everything about Tom. But, but that, no, but also that, that Tom was like, you were in Jaws? No. Oh, I was like, we can say anything at this point. I know. Yeah. We're going to find out that Tom's shocked. actually yes. super famous and we don't yeah, realize exactly. it. Yeah. They're like, that Tom? He's going to be like, I'm Tom Cruise. You didn't realize that? This little social experiment that's yeah. been going on yeah, for years exactly. with half hour, half Can I be hour? a normal person? Yeah. Oh my God, my I love it. goodness. Uh, all right, should we get to an email? Yeah, let's get to some emails. Ooh. That's me hitting paper on the table. Yeah, do Science it. style. Do it. Science. <laughs> Champagne birthday. What? It's from Bobby Lee. What's up, Bobby? Greetings and salutations to yeah. you, the tremendous trinity trinity of Monday merriment. Mm. Or, if there is a guest there, the fantastic foursome of holiday hilarity. Oh, there you go, Michelle. Merry drunksmas okay. to you, the booze sippers and the news spitters. Yes. I uh, hope that the day has treated you well and the forthcoming drunksmas hangover isn't mm. too bad. In any case, I wanted to first thank you for another year of hilarious and entertaining podcasts. You are one of the many highlights of my Mondays. Yeah, you the have, other you have multiple highlights being on Monday? ballroom dance <laughs> lessons. What? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. I uh, hope that the. Uh, uh, anyways, 
I wanted to email you guys for Drunk Smith again. Oh. And as it coincides with my birthday, Yay. and last year you happened to read my first email, Carry On My Wayward Tom. Oh. Carry On My Wayward Tom. I remember that. Which was the best birthday gift I could have gotten. Since uh. you took so well to my request last year, I thought maybe oh. you would care to do it again this year Great. and maybe start a yearly tradition, but I digress. Is, is today his birthday? Uh, is his birthday December 20th? Because that's when this episode airs. I don't think it's said. Oh, okay. I don't think uh, it's said. Well, hopefully. We're close to it. <clears throat> We're, We're close, close to it. it. Happy close birthday, it. Bobby. Uh, okay, but however, this year I'll give you some choices. Ooh, oh, oh, okay. Okay. One, I recently started going through the shows again and thought of the main cast. Two guys and one girl seems familiar. As Allison has already proven her love for the show with the 50 States song, would you guys oh. be up for a rendition of the Animaniacs theme song? Yeah. Now, okay. he did send a link. Hold on, let me just... Wait, we have other options. There are other people. options. There are other options. Okay. Now, let me, I'll read the other options, but okay. I want to get prepared yeah. in case that is... Oh, man, I love that theme song. I haven't heard that in Anime years. Next. What about Tiny Tunes? Is that the same thing? The same song? No. no. Tiny no. Tunes is we're tiny. We also wear tiny. some slacks. <laughs> That's, nope. <laughs> There's baloney in our slacks. That Everybody awesome. just chillax. Have- Everybody wants some cats. <laughs> Wait, I gotta find the thing. Start the lights at all. We're at a mini hacks. The guy who played Enemy Buster hacks? Bunny <laughs> married my wife and I. Buster Bunny Wait, from Tiny Tunes. Yeah. Not oh. Buster Bunny. Yeah. Buster Harley Bunny. Huh? You got married? Oh, oh come on, Tommy. guys, with this thing. Well, Buster Young. Yeah, Buster Bunny. Right. Buster, Buster, Buster Bunny. Buster, Bunny. You? Buster yeah, yeah, Bunny? Yeah. Your yeah. life is fascinating. I know. Yeah. Well, he's a voiceover actor, and yeah. I, we write cartoons okay. for a living. So. Oh God, where is this? Where is this? All right, so uh, two, (laughs) you guys started going into this last year after my initial request, but how about a little more of the Darkwing Duck theme song? Oh, life is like a Darkwing Duck here (laughs) in Darkwing (laughs) Ducks and Trucks and Maniacs. Maniacs? (laughs) Maniacs. There it is, champagne birthday. Okay, good. Uh, Now I'm ready in case we decide. On what we decide, we have the lyrics. All right. Okay, or three. Uh, and I didn't know about this at all, but otherwise, as it is the 30th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda, how about a little System of a Down and their Legend of Zelda song? Whoa. Oh, I do I vaguely remember I that one. I have zero on that in my face. In your face. <laughs> Lastly, I wish you guys all the best this holiday season and hope you guys enjoy the gifts I sent you. Ooh. Yours truly, Bobby Lee, and not uh, the one as seen on Mad TV. <laughs> uh, P.S. A little trivia knowledge about your podcast is called The Half Hour Happy Hour. The average time over 100 episodes or 99 comes in at 42.82 yep. minutes. Sounds about wow. right. Ah, uh, yes, 42.82 yeah. minutes. I can confirm that. Because Tom, you time us. Tom the timer. You time us. <laughs> time taking Tom. Uh, so are we so doing uh, Animaniacs or uh, Darkwing Duck? Theme? I kind of into Animaniacs. All right, here we go. Do we, we, we have the lyrics? We have the lyrics. Hold on, let me pull them up on my phone so I don't have to lean over your Okay, computer. here we go. You ready? Michelle, do you want to join us? I'm a terrible singer. Great. I don't better. know if I believe that. Right, here we go. You ready? No, no, no. I'm not ready. Hold up. In three, two. No. no. So here, go to lyric. <laughs> lyric. Uh, oh, I, don't, I, don't I was going to say Animaniac <laughs> lyrics. <laughs> like you just gave <laughs> Halfway through, I was like, oh, this is a bad You're idea. Like, theme song lyrics. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. You ready? No, no. Well, wait, I got to up- scroll to it. Ready? Oh, all right. All right. It's is time. this where we're starting? It's, it's time. It's time. That's okay. a little high, but that's okay. Here we go. Here we go. It's, it's time, time for Animaniac. And we're saying it to the max. So just sit back and relax. You'll laugh till you collapse. We're Animaniacs. Come join the Warner Brothers and the Warner Sister Dot. Just for fun, we run around the Warner movie lot. They lock us in the tower whenever we get caught. But we break loose and then remiss, and now we know the plot. Hey, we're Animaniacs. Dot is cute and Yakko yaks. Wacko packs away the snacks while the Clinton plays the sax. We're Animaniacs. Totally insane. Meet Piggy and the Brainy. Animaniacs. Those are the facts. Jacks. There you go. That was awesome. There's a lot of alternative lyrics. Allison, you're an amazing singer. She is good. Yes. <laughs> just singing that, I'm like, I, there's, that's not oh. a chance. I can, I can hit some notes, you guys. Yeah, you can. She can hit them. I can hit some notes. With her yeah, mouth. With my mouth hole. <laughs> with, my, with my singing mouth hole. What, what, what? Uh, so second email leads us into a first story. Okay, great. great. Who's this Shocking from? Kinder Egg News. Wait, who's this from? This is from Pat. Hi, Pat. Uh, Shocking Hage. Kinder Egg News. By the way, he, he's, he writes Hage. H-E-J. Is that a thing? H-E-J. Hage. 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 So anyway, Hage, age 14, 
And by the way, he writes it like three times. So he's clearly wanting to write Hage. Anyway, <laughs> Hage, is this, age 14. Is this what the kids are saying these uh, days? First of all, thanks I'm for entertaining me for the little one last year or something. You really brought me into science and laughter and tears and Tesla. Or something like that. Hey, Jallison. Hey, Tom. Hey, hey it's, it's hello in Swedish. It's oh, hello in that makes Swedish. sense. Because oh. I think he's he's Swedish. Oh. Uh, is Pat I, a Swedish name? I have. Uh, his last name is Kleindersten. Oh, <laughs> so, yes, yeah. that would have helped. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have a story about Kinder eggs. Okay, which is not so nice. Oh no. Maybe you haven't. You've heard about it. What's it was really. If not, it was really oh, yeah. shocking. Michelle doesn't know what Kinder eggs are. First off. <gasps> Okay, let's just stop reading right <laughs> now. We should have let's some here. Let's just stop, stop reading right now. Stop the podcast. Catch, catch her up on what Kinder Eggs is, okay, and kin- then I will tell Kinder you about the horrible, <laughs> horribleness of okay, illegal. First Kinder off, Kinder Eggs—they're illegal in the United States. Okay, it's a European candy. Kinder—it's it's German. Okay, um, and it's Kinder it, means child. Yeah, Kinder. Yeah, kid eggs. Child eggs. But they're, Child eggs. they are. Okay. It's it's it's, gonna get it's a chocolate permanent. egg. It's milk chocolate on the outside, and then the inside is white chocolate. But it it breaks open, and then there's a little plastic um, oh, tube the, thing yes. inside that you can open up, and that has a toy. I've yes. seen these before. Yes, there yes. was a it was, there was something that was like illegal about it. Yes. This person patented this one particular. Oh. Yes, yeah. So the new one this. in the states is it's basically two halves. So one side's candy, candy shell, and one's one candy side's toy. and one's toy, but they're separate. Because the FDA has decided yeah, that you could like bite into a chocolate egg well, and decided, there's a toy Yeah, inside. but decided okay. in like the 1810s, you know what I mean? Like, I don't it's, think it's been around that long. It, no, but it's, that's the thing is the law has been for crazy – for it's like putting pennies in cakes and shit yes. and selling them yes. for kids. <laughs> eat them so, and die. What? When I was you growing up – like put a penny in a cake and then it's like a Christmas oh, yeah, tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I want the, the penny. Or the baby in the, the cake <laughs> and stuff like that for uh, you don't Mardi Gras. You don't kill babies. No, no. It's a plastic baby. Only plastic babies. So I had – growing up, I had European au pairs. And they used to bring me these kinder. Bears? We've talked about we this. We talked a about this. Times. Remember? I'm drunk in the show. <laughs> <laughs> and they used to give me Kinder eggs, and then I'll, I brought them up on the show, and these two didn't know what Kinder eggs were. So every time I've gone to Europe, I've yeah. come back. I've With illegally illegal, smuggled in smuggled yeah. Kinder, kinder eggs. eggs for these guys. She's on the top ten most wanted from the. FDA. Yeah, you would never know. And what yeah. have you told me about it? Because like it's <laughs> very specific about an FDA thing, and that's yeah. all I remember. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. now I know what Kinder eggs are. There all right. Go. So now. Okay, I got the background. I, we're gonna bring it down a bit. Oh no. Oh. Exploitation exposed. <gasps> yes, I said that correctly. Eggs exploitation. Yep. You're proud of yourself too. Aged si- <laughs> kids age six making toys for Kinder eggs as slave workers no. are paid just twenty two p an hour. That's some sort of British really number. Really talented. I've seen the for thirteen hour shifts. Oh, what? Okay, so they get they make more than we do on this Kinder show. eggs. <laughs> yeah, no. So Kinder eggs are the toy itself. Yeah. part yeah. is outsourced. Okay. From the company Fargo or Faro, Faro. Hold on, let me see what the company is that makes Kinder Eggs. The actual chocolate. Yeah, Faro okay. is the company. Um, but what happens is they outsource the creation of the like little po- plastic pockets yes. with the with the thing the little inside. Owl, finger owl yep. we got. Yep. The little the butterfly. Well, stamp what they'll do the, is yeah. they'll they'll send the finger owl. And the instructions and the Fingers. box hole, yeah. and then somebody has to put the things oh. together and then send them oh. a complete one. They outsource that to a company in Romania. Mm. That company in Romania outsources it to individuals. Let's call them individuals, right? right. <laughs> and allows those individuals to work from home. Oh man! So what ends up happening is these parents of these young kids. Oh. Are uh, all spending all day just putting these things into these packets of things, and they're they get paid like a like two dollars and fifty cents for a thousand of them. Dang. Oh my goodness! Three dollars and eighty cents for every thousand completed eggs that are delivered to the factory. Oh, uh, and, this and is so still they've going now on. they've now done this thing. So the Sun. Um, magazine in the UK or whatever right. actually hunted this down like went to Romania <laughs> and then literally found a family that was doing it and they had like their six year old was actually doing the oh, work of putting man. together the toys and then they went to the factory and they were like hey so what's going on where are you going and this like taxi pulled up to their house and was like we, you're done all eggs go back in taxi <laughs> yeah crazy wow but, but the other thing that's crazy is they then take that thing and put it in chocolate for you to eat. Yeah. Yum. Like, there's nothing sanitary <laughs> about it. I was yeah. going to say, that was more of my Someone's concern. living room in Romania. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. 
crazy. Just so, so much Allison. living room here in Los Angeles. But, yeah. Like, no, it's, I'm good. No shit. You guys, I'll never bring you Kinder yeah, Eggs you're again. supporting child labor. I'm sorry. Well, now I hope that, I mean, you may just have to pay a little more because I'm hoping now that Pharaoh is like, I will spend any money I need to spend to bring you guys Kinder Eggs as long as they are not from people's dirty living rooms. Where did the prizes <laughs> and Cracker Jacks come from? Uh, Satan. Satan, Satan, yeah. Satan makes the Satan cracker makes jack the cracker jack parts. Man, yeah. Most people don't know that child labor. Though. <clears throat> oh, it's great! It's perfect. Hey, man, you know, Satan's into that. Yeah. Satan's into that. Yeah. Yeah. He loves manual labor, repeated manual labor. I don't know why. <laughs> repeated. Yeah, he's just an overachiever. <laughs> yeah, he just loves like just <laughs> totally. doing shit, putting shit in small holes. <laughs> totally. That's what everyone calls Satan overachiever. Overachiever. Yeah. overachiever. <laughs> Fucking overachiever. I love it. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys want to do another yeah. story? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh God, what should we do? So many good choices. So many choices. Let's do the. Let's do the cat. The cat. Yeah, cat. cat. I'm excited about. All right, this. you ready for this? Michelle has a cat. Yeah, I love cats. I'm allergic. Cat, I like them. Cat blamed for turning on faucet, oh. flooding Florida shelter. Oh, oh. So, <clears throat> Damn cat. so they got this cat in this Florida uh, animal shelter, Heard that part. and the, they didn't yeah. realize this, <laughs> but the volunteer said, uh, uh, "This uh, this cat is intelligent enough." To turn on water faucets. <laughs> well, and they had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. So the cat got out of the cage. Wow. Went into the kitchen. Cage. Yeah. Turned on the water faucet. Because it probably figured out how to. Towels down the <laughs> yeah, no. stuffed paper towels down the disposal. <laughs> flushed no, it flushed probably turned it on to drink. It probably turned it on to drink. Yeah. Yeah. So the shelter got called and they were like, uh, you're, how, it's, things flooding. And they were like, what? So they had to like get all the things out and they were like, oh, it must have been like a water oh, main break right. or like a thing. And so they went looking around and they were like, it's fucking faucets on. Yeah. Then they went and checked the security camera. Sure enough, <laughs> cat little what fucking was wrong water with the drain. I know they just yeah. turned it. Uh, yeah, I know, right? It should have just been the drain, right? Maybe there was like maybe they Don't actually did have cat. like plates or something uh, like covering the, yeah, the drain. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not like, excuses for the cat. I know that cat poor cat. But the just... best part is they actually adopted out the cat. Oh, good. Oh. So it's, it's cat's someone else's oh. problem. Yeah, but they actually had a <laughs> warning on the cat. Oh my god! And the cat, literally the warning was. This cat is intelligent enough to turn on water faucets. That's amazing. Wow. Get that cat it had a flood warning. Yeah. Well, have you have you seen the video? <laughs> have you seen the video of the boa constrictor that can that can uh, turn a doorknob? Whoa! Oh, it's no. like someone's pet boa constrictor. They put a camera on it, and the snake like slithers over, and it's a huge snake, right? Slithers over to a door, slithers up the wall, wraps itself around the doorknob, oh, and like throws its weight in the right way what? to open the door and slides out the closet door or where, wherever it is. Yeah. I'm terrified of that. First or, off, I, snakes are scary enough. Yeah. Now that I know they can actually open, <laughs> open doors, doors. The we're to fucked. Open it's doors, like Jurassic right. Park when they hide in, yeah. from the velociraptors and the yeah. velociraptors figure out how to open the handle. <laughs> yeah. I was like, <gasps> they use doors. You know what I kind of love? Have you guys <clears throat> noticed that the, the new, like... Um, the, the State Farm commercials now with Oscar winner J.K. Rowling. Yeah, by the way. Not J.K. Wait, Rowling. What? Wait a minute. Yeah, J.K. Uh, Rowling. J.K. Simmons. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got it. Wait, pause real quick. We got a, we got a delivery. Uh, this is actually from me. Put all that away. Put oh, it away. Put it away. Alex. Alex delivered things to Yeah, this is uh, later. Thank great. you, Jen. Uh, 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 never mind. Okay, yeah, yes. No, but the, the fun point about that. The State Farm commercial is that yeah. they're actual... Yeah. Insurance cases. Yeah. And there's one where a dog turns on a water fountain and it floods a house. And then that is so great. the dogs do like the water Olympics. But by yeah. the way, that ad, they yeah. shoot the J.K. Simmons walking yeah. part in the place the, of uh, Majestic Halls where I got married. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. So every time oh, it comes man. out, I'm like, I got married there. That, oh, now I'll, now I'll <laughs> Yeah, look you'll at see that. it. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's yeah. the marble. I was at that wedding. Hell yeah. Best part about your wedding? Me getting married. Pizza on the way out. Pizza at 10. <laughs> yeah. That was the best. Anytime I talk to people who are going to get married, anybody, I'm like, here, the, two things <laughs> that are that, that our lady, it, right? two things that <laughs> our lady was like, these are two, these are two things that you need, our wedding yeah. coordinator. One, r- right after you get married, sequester yourself with your wife or other way around, sequester yourself with your husband or your <laughs> wife, whatever, and take 10 minutes away from the crazy party there. Everybody's going to start drinking. It's cool. Yeah. To just look at each other and be like, fuck, we got married. Awesome. Aww. That happened. Moment. Wait, by the way. Because the rest of the wedding goes like that. And if we hadn't done yeah. it, I would be like, I think my wife was there. I just realized you're talking about <laughs> my friend Hannah. Have we talked about this yeah, yeah, on yeah. the show before? I don't think we talked about it on the so show. So this, this is what's a crazy coincidence. One of my oldest, dearest friends, this, this girl Hannah, um, has started her own business as a wedding planner. Oh, 
And when Alex gets mar- got married or was getting married, we're, th- it was like right when Alex and I were becoming friends too. Yeah, we were at like and, M Cafe or something having lunch. Yes, and we're like chatting about something. He's telling me about the wedding. He's like, oh, well, my wedding planner, Hannah. And I was like, wait, what? Well, no, no. I said, that, wasn't that yeah, it? My, my wedding planner did blah, blah, blah. And you were like, oh, my friend's a really great wedding planner. Yes. So if you don't like your wedding planner, you should use my friend, Hannah. And I yeah. go, my wedding planner's name is Hannah. Yes. And she was like, Whoa. what? He ended up coincidentally yeah. hiring one yeah. of my Her longest, best friend. dearest friends. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. As my wedding planner. And and Hannah and, and Jesus. Yes, yeah, it was I crazy. Know. But I always say this is the thing that's amazing about Hannah and the reason she became a wedding planner is because Hannah's one of the, just one of the loveliest people I know. So she has so many friends because she's just a kind, like generous human mm-hmm. being. And she gets invited to, I'm not exaggerating, Easily nine to fourteen weddings a year. Wow. Yeah, and she was she was going to so many weddings, going to so many weddings, and she kind of hit this point where she was like, "What do I really want to do with my life? Like, what am I good at?" And she was like, "Well, I'm really good at going to weddings." <laughs> yeah, and she was like, "But yes. you know, I see all this. I see the things at weddings that I like, and I see the things I don't like." And yeah. so she literally turned it into a business, and it's massively successful now yeah. here in LA. It's great if, you, if you're if you live in Southern California. Actually, I mean, she does weddings everywhere, but it's just more convenient if you're in Southern. I follow California. her. I'm trying to remember the name of her. her. It, the name of her company is dog day of gal oh yeah day of gal Day yeah. of gal so dog something but i think if you just google day of gal yeah. she'll come up Did you um, get alice and she, slip discount if you mention your name i don't out. know maybe it's just yeah. a, a free bottle of booze because that that's what i would want my discount to be <laughs> but my point is it's, it doesn't surprise me that hannah was the one who was so like she said take two 10 things minutes. take 10 minutes so that you yeah. realize that your wife is with you on this day which is awesome we did yeah. that but two yeah, did. midnight snack Midnight and I was snack. like, what? And she was like, order something to come at, at like right about 10. Everybody's been drinking. Huh. They ate at 7. Like yeah. there's no food left. And so we ordered all these pizzas. And so people are on the dance floor. They're dancing. Everybody's drinking. And then all of a sudden, like 15 large pizzas come <laughs> yeah. in. And it was like – it was like somebody just rolled gold down the hall. Oh, like the every best. single person was like, yeah! and then I, I just like looked over and there's people are dancing, holding pizza, yeah. and they're like, "We love this is the best yeah, wedding ever!" Was yeah. bad. Eating pizza. I also remember your wedding being the first time I ever took Uber because oh, it was right when Uber was like becoming a yeah. thing, and your wedding was in LA, and mm-hmm. it was like one of the first weddings I'd ever been to. Actually, I was like, I'm not getting a hotel room. I'm going home. But I don't want to drive because I'm right. obviously going to drink. And I was like, oh, I'll download this fancy app called Uber. And yeah. I Ubered to your fancy. wedding. Yeah, you're like, Super fancy. Uh, hello, are you Uber? Yes. <laughs> oh, you are. Good. Uber. I am Allison. Will you I will please sit in the drive back. me to downtown? Do I sit in the back or the front? Yes. Oh, the back? Okay. Right. Great. <laughs> I'm in my little party dress yeah. and whatever. It was super fun. It was actually a How really fun wedding. How many years ago wedding. was that? Uh, coming up on four. Yeah, oh, wow. I think because you guys were together for a while. We, yeah, we've together, been together. Yeah. We just had our, or yeah, we just had our fourteenth. Yeah, this is why I love you guys. You make me feel normal. Animation <laughs> anniversary. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Michelle's we were very much so normal. for nine we, years. Ten yeah, years. Yeah, it will be ten years in February. It's oh awesome. wow! Congrats. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah so. we took. We waited. Moved in. We were like, it was one of those things where, like, first off, the asking her to marry me was hysterical. I, have I told this? No, story? I think I probably have. How have we not told? So. I don't. I don't know. This. All right. Well, so essentially, we would periodically have the conversation, usually when we were drinking, of like, what should we? I mean, at some point, we got to get married, right? And I was like, right. yeah. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, do we have to? And I was like, well, we don't have to. I'm just oh, saying. You know? so familiar. Yeah. So I remember I'm sitting in my office uh, at my computer and Heather comes in and we're, you know, she's having a couple drinks. I'm having a couple drinks. <laughs> and, and she's just sitting there and, and she was like, you know, I've been thinking about it. We should totally just get married. And I was like, oh, what? No, I mean, we don't. Or we oh. can just think about it. Like, let's just think about it. Because I was like, that's not how. We you're like, wait. Yeah. Like, I have shit like I'm supposed to do. Yeah. You're like, you don't Before ask this me. happens. Yeah. And you know what I mean? And so she was like, yeah, well, let's think about it. You know, whatever. And I was like, Ugh. so then I was like, uh, all right. OK, this I have to do this now. Let's OK, plan. And so I was like, well, I don't plan. know shit about shit. So I was like, OK. So I literally the next day drove straight to Tiffany's. Yeah. Because I was like, I know I don't fuck it up if I get a ring from right. Tiffany's. Right. No, yeah. you're right. And there are people there that will if tell me. If it shows up in a blue up. box, I'm happy right. with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So I show up and then I was like, well, I like this ring because it's like super futuristic. And the, <laughs> the lady behind, <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. But the lady behind the counter was like, I am not going to let you buy that ring. <laughs> 
And I go, what do you mean? It's got laser shooting. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, that takes a very specific girl to wear that ring. And she was like, if you want to bring your soon to be fiance in, I could find out if that's a ring. But she was like, that's a specific taste. Oh, God bless this woman. Yeah. And so she, Doing so I was like, job. well, what should I, what should I do? And so I, she brought me over to the classic yes. Tiffany's yes. princess cut engagement ring. So I was like, okay. And then it's just like a weird math puzzle. Oh. Because it's like yeah. the the size of the ring. So they're all that that cut is all um, uh, platinum bands. Right. So it's like okay, it's a platinum band. Okay, uh, so really it's just what size and clarity do you want? And it's just a sliding scale. Right. So I'm looking at the thing. There's like the itty bitty diamond you can barely see, right. and then a rock that's like that's a fucking rock. Yeah. yeah. And so I go, all right, I don't know what I'm doing. How much does that cost? And how much does this cost? And the guy goes, well, that is the I small one. It, the small one, I think, was like twenty five hundred dollars or something okay. like that. And she was like, that is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Jesus! Oh and so I was God. like, so somewhere in the, in the middle. middle here. <laughs> and I go between a month's worth of uh, of of rent or and a house. Yeah. You're like, yeah. how much is that futuristic ring again? Yeah. I was like, like yeah. what about that one over there? No. Okay. <laughs> what about? So I ring? kind of just sort of went. Okay, I, I just picked a number that I was like, I guess this is enough yeah. money for me to be comfortable yeah. with. Yeah. And they were like, okay, this is the size and clarity you can get, and there it is. And I was like, that looks pretty. Yep. And so I got it, and then I'm driving home, and Heather calls me. Oh, no. And she's like, hey, where are you? And I was like, oh, I'm coming home. Just I was out <laughs> doing stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck, busted. And I was like, just I'm, I'm just driving home, just on my way home, breezy. I don't have a ring on me. I can go to and then, she, and then she goes, oh, okay. And I go, and I got you a little something, or so, I, I like say something, sort <laughs> yeah. of like, be prepared to receive a gift, Jesus. but it's totally casual. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> she hears me say, I bought you a DVD player. <laughs> just, I don't know what. That's what she heard me say because I was being so weird, and she was like, in her mind, she was like, oh, okay. And so in her mind, she's like. Why would you buy me a DVD player? <laughs> Ask for but also, right. you're on the way home. Like, but, okay. But also, I feel like if I had been dating you for 10 years, I'd be like, yeah, him buying me a DVD player makes exactly. sense. Exactly. No, exactly. <laughs> That's totally idea out of, of the realm yeah. of yeah. Alex. Yeah. So, so I walk in, and she's in her office. And she had like just come from like Pilates or something. So she was just like in her in sweats, sweats and yeah. like sweaty and all this stuff. Which, of course, she's now mad at that it happened <laughs> while she yeah. was sweaty, yeah. which is yep. a thing. And so I walk in and I hand, I put the bag down. <laughs> oh my God, you didn't even take it out. No, 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 no. You open. It was, you no, it was like, do. but no, it was like, it Mary. was like, I came in, but, but it was like I was holding stuff. So I put the thing down and I go, I got you something. And I put the thing down and then I turn. And by the time I turned back, she had, she had opened had r- it. Of moved course. it from the back, unwrapped <laughs> it, opened it, and was looking at it. <laughs> And so, but I mean, it was That's the moment awesome. of like, turn, put a bag down, turn back, and I was like, oh my god! And then she just looks and she goes, "What are you? What are you doing?" I want and I was DVD like, player. "Well," and then I just got fucking. Re- I, I don't know what happened. My brain just left, and I was like, "Well, we, you know, the other day we were talking, and I, you know what I mean." So I thought, I mean, you know, well, yeah. And she was just like, "Are you asking me something?" And I go. Will you marry me? And she's like, Yeah. God. And then she puts the ring on, and I was like, I'm gonna get a wine. And so I literally just came back with wine, and I and we just started immediately drinking, and then we just started calling all of our family. And- By the way, that's that's sort of exactly how I want to get engaged. Just to like, I think it was like perfect. A, like a non-production, like it just there sort was of is zero like, production value getting, in that this engagement. A, we're getting, we're engaged. Oh, okay, oh, great, so cool. Funny. Let's do this. Except yeah, you're together for so long. I know. It's just such a weird conversation because. <laughs> I mean, because we've been together forever. And yeah. You, you kind of have those conversations and you're like, I mean, I don't know how it changes, but I guess yeah. it's a yeah. thing. Yeah. And, I don't know. It's just a weird yeah. paperwork thing, but yeah. it's yeah. a paperwork yeah. thing. I mean, kind of. I will say, paperwork with I will a really say, cool it, ring. I will say, it, I was surprised at how, I, I, I always say this to Heather, I was always like, no, nothing changed, but at the same time, everything changed. Oh, interesting. Whereas I feel like, Prior to getting married, it was like us versus the world, mm-hmm. but also me versus the world and her versus the world. Totally. Like there was there was still that part of like, I'm Alex and I'm conquering the world. Right. And then I have this teammate and the team is conquering the world too. But the moment we got married, the next day it was like, oh, 
Alex versus the world isn't a thing anymore. It's just us versus the world, and it's awesome. That. That's cool. Yeah. But it, and it's very subtle. Like, it's not like it didn't, you know. The other thing, too, is. That's what is, people mean when they say it. Like, it's not <clears throat> yeah. like a big, huge. No. Right. It's just like a weird shift where you're like, oh, yeah. right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now I know what my priorities are. Yeah. yeah. The mm-hmm. other thing, too, is I have had a lot of friends that got married sort of right out of college, right out of high school. Yeah, right. And I literally had friends that called me and they were like, hey, so my wife locked me out. Uh, so what's oh, going on with you? And I'm like, what's <laughs> going on with y- me? Yeah. <laughs> well, huh? Why are you on the street <laughs> and calling me? I live in L.A. You don't even live in L.A. Like, what's going on? And a couple different people that I knew that got married were like, you know, the big issue was um, expectations. Right. Like, the guy had an expectation that certain things would change or nothing would change. Jeez. And the wife had the expectations that certain things would change or not change. And so I was very clear with Heather when we got engaged right before we got married that I was like, tell me things that you think are going to change. Oh, that's a good idea. That's I a good conversation to, know, to have. Yeah, because I want to know what you think is going to change. Yeah. I don't think anything's going to change. And and as long as we're on the same page, like if you think good, all of a yeah. sudden I'm going to be the guy that goes – and does whatever that I don't do now. That's Exercise? Cool. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. <laughs> if you think I'm going to be the guy that's in the gym every day because we're married. I'm not. I need to know that so I can say, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Or, okay, fine. Thank you for telling me I have to do that. Right. But it's true. We had that conversation where it was like, what do you think is going to happen? How do you think this is going to change our relationship? And, you know, my expectations. And, and I think that really helped us because I think a lot of people – like people always say like, oh, the first year is the hardest. Right. And I think, A, that's a lot of people that get married and move in together because just moving in with somebody oh, – is a lot. There's a lot of yeah. stuff that comes up. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So I think that might be part of it. But I also think it's all about – like we've always been just very much open and honest about communication. Yeah, you guys are like, a pretty great couple. I agree. Yeah, <laughs> I actually pretty. just met her recently. Yeah, that's She's right. like oh. after forever. We have the same mailbox. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing. <laughs> We're like at the mailbox. I turned around and I was like, what? And she was yeah, like, this is my mailbox. I was like, this is my mailbox. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. We have to end this episode. All right. Fine. But before we do, oh. I, Jen, did we just get a delivery? Yes, you did. Let's, oh. let's thank this person real quick so we don't forget to do it. Who's it from? Oh, oh Andre yeah, Andre Jenkins. Jenkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What did we get? Sure. Oh. It looks like a cake box. God it, damn it. Does it. Look we have like more cakes. Uh, That'd be yeah. amazing. What did we get from Andre? Oh, more oh, croissant. More croissant. And more Michelle croissant. just like the dick croissant. dives on it. Awesome. <laughs> and the small. More croissant. More croissant. Thank you, Mr. Jenkins. All the croissant. Thanks, Andre. I love this. This is like a little. You know what it is? What? French cooking music. French cooking. We're not there yet. I'm just saying. Episode three. I'm just saying. Episode three. Episode three. All right. All right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for listening to episode two of Drunk Smiths. Uh, You can email us at halfhourhappyhourfans at gmail.com if you want to thank us for something or send us stories or say we got something totally wrong, like Alex's engagement story or something like that. (laughs) That'd be awesome. Uh, Um, I was looking through the window, and that's not how it went. Obviously, (laughs) though, we can can only get to these the emails you send now after Drunk Smiths is over because we're recording all of these episodes in one day uh, but we will get to them in the new year uh, follow us on Twitter on half hour happy HR what are you doing so much cocaine so, so cocaine much. I'm not allergic to it oh <laughs> Um, and if you liked what you heard please uh, oh, please subscribe episode. to us on iTunes or Stitcher or whatever you listen to us on or and share us with your friends and validate our existence yeah. Michelle where can they find you uh, just on Twitter at Michelle Morrow Michelle's with one L I know you're a one nice. L Michelle yeah, one L Michelle one, one L, L Allison Michelle. and one L Michelle I know it's funny is awesome. now when I type Michelle and it has two L's it, it looks wrong to me right it looks weird yeah mm-hmm. absolutely uh, and that Michelle. is <laughs> yeah I'm like Hello. there's too many Michelle. too many L's there's just too many L's. Uh, that is it for this episode of the Half Hour Happy Hour with Allison and Alex. I'm Allison Hayslip. I'm Alex Albrecht, sitting in as our engineer extraordinaire, Tom Super Volcano hey. Krajewski, oh, a.k.a. Mr. Guns. Thanks for letting Mr. me be Guns. here. Oh, oh. the small Irish car bomber. Happy holidays. Uh, and thank you so much, Michelle, for sitting in. Thanks Woo. for having me, guys. Happy drunkness. Thank you. Yeah. Now leaving Nerdist.com.